Hey folks, now first things first, do you remember these? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jim. However, I've landed Jim in hot water because um, they should have actually been for his wife, Janet. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it kind of a mix up. Um, so I'm gonna say thank you very much, Janet. And I think Janet got them from someone else. So thank you very much <laughs> there. Um, these, yeah, they've been a cause of a bit of a mess. If anyone's thinking of sending me anything, for heaven's sake, right, like, don't send me your kids or something, and then just turn to your wife and go, I don't know where they've gone. Um, <laughs> you know, don't do anything like that, but, but there you go. So, Jim, Janet, everyone else, um, thank you. Let's, let's scoot on from that, gloss over that bit. So, uh, today I, I need to just screw a few things in, line up some cupboards. We've now got the door, but not the holes to fit it in. So I'm gonna have to finesse that. And you know, finesse is my middle name. So I can get that, so then I can get the cupboard correctly lined up, screwed together, and then I should be able to do the worktop. First things first. To hell with all this complicated stuff. Let's do something I'm reasonably good at. Oh, for those of you that were asking about the mug, I think I've sort of somehow nearly got it ready. So fairly soon there will be a link and you'll be able to get something like this. over there. Oh, yeah, look at stay this guy's filthy. God. Alright. So that how far in do these go? So it's not far off that is it? And it's uh, 4.5 and 7.5. That's kind of that hole, isn't it? Right. So then that goes there, doesn't it? That way around. All right. So I need a drill bit. I need a wood drill bit. That's my metal oh oh play on i know what i'm doing so i think if i do that there now fortunately it's years of kitchen installation training that means I can tackle these sort of jobs. For you mere mortals out there, I wouldn't go near this. Too many things could go wrong. Bugger. I've lost the screw as well now. Oh, for goodness sake. Who let him near this? He fell about an inch. So, where, where the hell did it go? It's close there. Right, let's... How's that coming? Now, by the time I've edited this, this will be down to about an eight second piece of perfection. Bit of inspiration. F 
flipping egg. That went in like a hot knife into butter. Wow. Right. Don't let me down. Don't let me down now. Okay, now I can line up the cupboards and screw those together. Hmm, I've just remembered that I have this bit here, this sort of corner section on here. And um, I can't remember how you fit it in. <sighs> right, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna try shuffling some of the cupboards to line them up. So we've got a nice run of cupboards in a line. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna see if I can do a bit of that. I have a horrible feeling I won't. Of course I will, of course I will. Easy, come on. So I don't know how to do that corner bit. Oh. I'm almost certain this is easier done with the doors off. People screaming, get the professionals in. You don't know what you're doing. But that's, that's not the point. Point is to learn. Yeah, the, the point is to learn. And you can't learn by getting other people in. That's definitely easier to be able to screw them together when the doors are off. Spot on. Well, I've got to fit the handle onto the door and some of you will have seen this before, but it, it's great. It's just, this one is a marksman. Up against the item that you're trying to, you know, measure to put the screw in the right spot, you put it into the little hole and just give it a little press and it just gives you a little mark. Useful little thing. So there you go. Marksman. Hey, you know where to find me. So we'll screw this on, so we've got the handles. So we've got the handle on. You can make sure the fronts are all lined up so this row of units is in kind of the, the correct angle and all the rest of it. And then I need to join the worktops and then secure worktops and cupboards in the right spot. I was thinking tape, you know, a bit of sticky tape, a bit of gaffer tape, just just to hold it tight. Well, folks, uh, I just did a little live there in between doing a bit of this. And uh, if you didn't see it, go have a look. I think they're in a separate tab for lives, but go have a look at it. You know, it's more of this nonsense and drivel. I'm going to just tidy up some gear. I've got to do some other stuff. I will come back and try and tackle the bit that I've been putting off for probably six months. And let's see if we can get that little bit closer to the escape to the dream house.
Uh, before we finish today's, I just wanted to pick up on a couple of people I forgot to mention. So Sharon, Tracy, both of you have been with me through thin and thinner. And <laughs> I do appreciate you and your comments, your support, and your, I can feel the good vibes coming in from you. So thank you so much, Sharon, Tracy, and anyone else I've missed. Kev, I might have missed you as well. Um, but yeah. Thank you all very much. See you soon.